Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, it's TPM5 here, back again with another NBA video. In today's video I'll be previewing the Memphis Grizzlies offseason, talk about some possible trades, look at their draft prospects, and then also talk about their salary cap situation for the future. So without further ado, let's get into it. This season, the Memphis Grizzlies opened up with a negative record, and so obviously more losses than wins. They were, they were able to work back to a um, 500 record, and it stayed around that mark for the whole year until late in the season when they pulled away, winning four out of their last five games to secure a spot in the play-in. They were bounced in the first round in five games, taking one game off of the first seeded Jazz. And we did learn that John Morant can ball in the playoffs. He averaged 30 points and 8 assists. And Dylan Brooks also stepped up, averaging nearly 26 points per game. Now, the Grizzlies, you know, it's an interesting period of time for them where they have a young group of guys. And I think that they can make the playoffs again. And I think they can do things, but there are a couple changes that can be made to make them a lot better. But just a quick break, guys. I make NBA content two or three times a week. I'd heavily appreciate it if you subscribed and it would mean a lot to me and also if we have any grizzlies fans watching uh feel free to comment uh, at any point in the video you know you know more about the grizzlies than i do so feel free to comment but as you guys can see this is a salary cap table i'm gonna have it up for about 20 seconds feel free to pause if you guys want to but right uh, at the top they're relatively you know cheap they're not paying too many guys too much Mo their most expensive contracts actually in um you know the waivers but you know valentinus is there until next season and that's the case for Carl Anderson, Tyus Jones, and also Jaron Jackson Jr. He's an interesting one as well because they're looking to um, extend him at some point, and I think that he will be in for a payday. Now, he has had issues with health, so that does raise a couple questions about that. But I think that while John Morant's you know, relatively underpaid until 2023, it would be you know optimal for this team to try and compete and you know improve their roster as much as they can. Because um, after the you know Giannis won the title. Uh, Jean Morant was tweeting, you know, I've got to get mine, and I think that, you know, he, he, I think he has that sense of loyalty to, you know, Memphis, like Giannis, and it's kind of comparable with him and Jaron Jackson Jr., like, they're kind of two guys that would come up together, but overall this team doesn't have any bad, you know, glaringly bad contracts, and they have a lot of flexibility, as in 2023 they'll only be committing 45.3 million in their salary cap, which is you know, very good. Obviously, they're a young team, so they will get filled in by some young guys that they choose to extend. But still, it's always good to have that flexibility. Now, let's talk about some trades and some players they might be you know, shopping. I think that Carl Anderson is a guy that they can shop. He has a fairly sizable contract that is useful you know, when it comes to making trades. Now, I'm not too sure what the market is for him. He's you know, a probably average you know, starter in the NBA. And also, another guy that's interesting as well this offseason is Justice Winslow. Now he's got a $13 million team option I believe and I think that the Grizzlies will choose to take that back because they kind of, you know, it's kind of hard to bring guys back in free agency and I think that, you know, letting him walk for that and then, you know, trying to make a splash probably isn't the right thing to do. Obviously, um, it, it's difficult for the Grizzlies. I think their best option is to build uh, up from the youth and luckily for them, they have pick 17 in this year's draft so they could get something there. And I think that they probably would want to upgrade the small forward spot, which is kind of where Carl Anderson does play for them. And just back with Justice Winslow, opting into his deal also, you know, creates a bit of value for them because it becomes an expiring $30 million deal, which becomes useful when making trades. Now, you know, in concept, you could bring Jeremy Grant in to kind of fill that small forward, you know, play a power forward for you, you know, spot. You know, you could trade pick 17 Winslow and Carl Anderson that probably would be enough in my mind but i think that you still have the flexibility to put some draft picks in there obviously attach the protections if you need them but that will give them a good probably 20 point per game scorer and it will fill that hole at the small forward spot and i think it would make them a lock for the playoffs now grizzlies fans if you're still here you know, tell me what you think of that fit what positions you guys need to fill now let's talk about what they can do with their draft pick so they're looking to my knowledge to fill up the wing spots and you know Trey uh, Murphy the third of uh, you know University of Virginia is a pretty good option for them there might be some guys that fall down but I think he's got a leap free throw shooting at 93% and he's also got a great 43.3% uh, you know shooting from the three-point line and I think that obviously you have to take that with a grain of salt because the three-point line is closer in college but he certainly you know proves to be a bit of a prospect for them now if he's actually ready to start for a playoff contender I'm not too sure 
but you can counter this idea with trading up because if you get into that probably 7 to 12 spot you probably will be looking at a guy that can start for you but that all depends on what the Grizzlies want to do and how they uh, if they want to trade the draft pick or but yeah, that's it for the video, guys. If you have any Grizzlies fans watching, please comment. I want to know more about your team because there's not too much coverage. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, thank you for watching if you made it to the end. Peace out.